coincidence, is some, <coughs> some of you people may have heard this. So, I have a friend, um, well, we went to Medjugorje, um, and when, when we were there, in the prayer room, uh, we had cards, prayer cards, so I still have it in my wallet. It's a little card, Blessed Mother, the five stones of mm -hmm. uh, David, oh, yeah, you know, the, the rosary, and with the five pebbles. Were, were Confession, the mass, uh, the yeah. fasting, fasting yeah. right. Bible. Exactly. Uh, so I had these cards, and I bought about a hundred of them, and then the Blessed Mother came to Yvonne, and she said, I'm blessing all the articles here. And I thought, wow, that's cool. So this has been blessed by the Blessed Mother. So I took the cards, and I brought them back, and I, you know, gave them out as a thanks to people that had been praying for me over time. And uh, one of the cards went to a buddy of mine, John Vina, who's a pilot friend of mine. He lives in Michigan. Some of you may have met him at the party a couple of, oh, yeah, we a couple of months ago. Yeah. But, um, and just as a side story, John's daughter has Kawasaki's disease, which is a, some type of a, a disease that Asian people have. Yeah. And um, he said he had heard, heard me talk about Medjugorje, and he didn't know that much about it. And he said, well... His wife was a convert, and he said, you know, Paul's got this card, I left the card in his mailbox in the Detroit airport. So he drives into the airport with his daughter, his daughter's about eight, eight months old, she's screaming, she's in pain with this disease, mm -hmm. and, and uh, his wife's in the car, and he runs in and picks up the envelope that has the card in it, and he says, you know, Paul sa says that this car has been blessed by the, the Blessed Mother in Medjugorje, he said, we've been to... Rome, we were blessed by the Pope, but as far as I'm concerned, you know, this, this beats that. So he, so they're kind of like, oh, that's interesting. But meanwhile, you know, his daughter's in the back screaming. And um, he, he looks at his wife and he says, you know what? He takes the card and he puts it on her chest. And then she immediately just stops crying, you know. And, and so that, that, was, that was a nice little side story. He, he conveyed that to me, calls me up on the phone. He says, Paul, he tells me this whole story. So then, so he's really, the card is meaningful to him. So, in the meantime, um, there was a girl in Central Mass, yeah. Lennox, her name was Kaylee, and she had brain cancer. And so we knew Kaylee because she was the niece of my barber. And so we were praying for her. And Father Tom would go out there quite a bit and say prayers for Kaylee. And so I started calling this guy up. I didn't know him from Adam, but I started calling up the father because it was Connie, my barber's brother. And I just, out of the blue, I called him up. And we're, we're talking, and, you know, his daughter was dying of, of cancer. And I, and I started telling him about the Blessed Mother and about the rosary and, you know, the importance of prayer. I, I talked to him about Medjugorje. I said, you know, maybe... You might even consider, uh, I told him about Artie's story, I said, you might consider taking a, a pilgrimage to, to Medjugorje. So he, he had listened, but, you know, you never know what sinks in or not. So we continued to pray for him, and, um, you know, time went on. And, and about six months later, <clears throat> my friend John in Michigan, he calls me up. He says, hey, Paul, um, you know that card you gave him? I said, yeah. He said, well, do you have another one? I said, well, um, yeah, yeah, I have another one. Why? He says, well, you're not going to believe this, but I was on a layover in Florida, and I was riding on it. We were in Orlando, and I was riding on one of these passenger trams, and uh, it was the weirdest thing. Nobody else was in the car except another family, and the girl looked like she was really sick. And, um, she, you know, so I just... I was moved, motivated by probably the Holy Spirit to give her this card. And so I pulled it out of my wallet. It was the card from the Blessed Mother. I told her, I said, this is from the Blessed Mother. And the parents kind of looked at me like I was a little weird, you know. And, but they took the card. And I said, oh, that's, that's really neat. And she said, he said, I, I said, well, you know. He said, well, the girl, was, she's had a brain situation going on. I said, really? Wow, that's, that's weird. So, uh... Then I happened to get a haircut, and Connie mentions that her niece was down in Florida. 
like a couple of weeks prior. So I'm like, no, <laughs> no, this, this can't be. So I said, they were in Florida? Yeah. Well, so I call up this guy, Nick, the father. Of, I said, uh, hey, you know, you were in Florida a couple of weeks ago? He said, yeah. I said, did some guy, were you on a tram? Did some guy give you a card from the Blessed Mother? He said, you know, that's weird. Somebody did do that. <laughs> so, so, you know, there's no coincidence. I mean, I had been, you know, I had taken this card back. I had given it to my friend in Michigan. And then I had been taught totally distinctly different talking to this other guy in Western Massachusetts about the Blessed Mother. And then the two of them met on a tram in Florida, oh and then he was inspired to give that card to that guy. Wow. I mean, there's no coincidence to that. So I, I just, you know, I don't know what statistics which say the odds of that happening are. There are probably millions to, to one, if not billions. But there's no coincidence. So, the, you know, the Blessed Mother God, uh, they work uh, the way they want to work, and, it, and we're just kind of participants in it. But, you know, I just thought that was a neat story. It shows how, how God works. Awesome. Thank you.